don't fuck with the gods. Like the gods were like, we gotta, we gotta get this guy because that's that's fucked up. Hello and welcome to another episode of How Fucked Up Is Fucked Up. This is a series that runs on the concept of how fucked up, fucked up is. We share with you the facts of the fucked up. How fucked up is it, Yara? Fucked up. I'm your host, Haley, joined today by Yara. We are celebrating our season finale, and what better way to do that than taking a look at some Greek mythology stories. People don't know what myths are. They are stories that are often used to teach people about events that they cannot always understand, such as illness, death, earthquakes, and floods. The Greeks had a different god for almost everything. Every time something bad happened, they're like, oh, that that's another fucking god. So. What do you think about Greek mythology? Do you know much of it? What was? Did you like studying it? I love it. Okay. Apparently, they all have uh, the know. Greeks, the Scandinavians, even the Chinese, and it's all close knit. Even though they didn't have any communication between each other, like, so it makes you wonder: like, were they aliens? Were they real gods? Were they, you know, like, who were these people? But the fun thing time? about Greek mythology is just how fucked up the stories are. Many of them are kind of evil, crazy, but some are good. If you'd like to take a walk down history lane with me, I could tell you a little bit more about Greek mythology. I don't think I have a choice, but do I? I'm here <laughs> no, lady. <laughs> we're going down. Well, Yara, the history of Greek mythology. It's difficult to say when it exactly all went down. They have believed it was from the 3000 to 1100 BCE. That's around okay. the Bronze Age. That's also known as the Minoan civilization of Crete. 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 This is why we have smart people on here, Yara. So that's the Bronze Age. And this is when they started writing about it. The writers known for it, the Paul Dress of Athens, the looking statue of this man, the BC Roman historian, Gaius Julius Hyginus. That's a fun name to say. When you're looking at all these people, they don't have photos, right? They only have statues. You know, is it like girls today for social media? Like, can you take another one? Oh my God, I hate that. Can you take it from that side? She probably had to stand like that for like six hours. It was like, mm, no trash. Do you think they pose for these? I don't think so. Imagine. They have to. How else is a yeah. sculpture gonna sculpt? I found something interesting in the AD 394, this guy named Theodosius the first, he banned Greek religion. I didn't even know you could do that. He was just like, no, that's not real religion. I mean, for other people, it could have been. I don't think that's fair. People accepted it? Oh, I'm Greek? sure, you know, it was the Greek days. They're like, if you don't accept it, behead him. And that was the last year of the ancient, ancient Olympic Games. The ancient Olympic Games, they were a series of athletic competitions held in honor of Zeus. You know, same thing, except now people do it for money and bitches. I'm sure right? they still did it for money and bitches back then. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's, and then what's interesting is in 2006, almost 2,000 years later, an Athens court ordered that they will unban the belief of Greek mythology. That seems better. So they're not, yeah, some of the Greek gods were super fucked up. Some of them are nice. Some of them have some cool stories and myths to them. Start off with myths of Jason and the Argonauts. Argonauts, hey, that's the Montreal football team, Argonauts. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know we had a football team. Oh, wait, no, that's Toronto Argonauts. I lied to you. <laughs> this is Jason and the Argonauts. Jason's uncle, Peleus, kills his father. He then takes his throne. So now you have your uncle, who's a dick, who has a throne. Him and his Argonaut expedition, they went in there, were like, blah, 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 and they got the throne back. So he's a hero. That's <laughs> a great story. Another great one is the Amazons. Now, the Amazons are pretty cool. These are Greek gods that are women. They're pretty bad bitches, okay? They were like a race of warlike women noted for their riding skills, courage, pride, and they lived on the outer limits of the known world, the city of Themyscira on the Black Sea. That's where Wonder Woman comes from. That's what I was thinking. It's so Wonder Woman, right? So she's she's a, she's part of the Amazons. Okay, I get it. It is, yeah. Prometheus was a pretty cool one. He was a cool guy because he liked humans. Zeus didn't really like humans. There's a lot of shit about Zeus not being very cool to humans. But this god thought humans were pretty dope. I don't even like humans. I know, exactly. I'd be like, smite them. He got into a dangerous conflict with Zeus. I guess we have him to thank for some shit. 
Medusa as a beautiful maiden seduced by Poseidon in, a, in the temple of Athens. Another tortured yeah. woman, but I mean, you know, she turned badass. She's the most famous of the monster figures known as Gorgons. She was usually yes. represented as a winged female creature having head of hair consisting of snake. Unlike the Gorgons, she was sometimes represented as very beautiful. Like all she devils. Like when you come out of the house and you're like, I look good today. Don't you always just feel like a little bit evil? Of course. Yeah. When Athena discovered the affair, she was enraged and immediately cursed Medusa by taking away her beauty. She turned her long hair into venomous snakes and made her beautiful face so hideous that those who, who looked into her eyes would immediately be turned to stone. I like Athena, I feel like she's very jealous. That's not even fair, she was seduced. Kid, by Poseidon. See, it's always a man's fault. I mean, if Chad Michael Murray came in here and like started flashing up and doing his little magic mic dance and then they wanted to put my hair into snakes, I'd be like, whoa, not even fair. On today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up, we are taking a look at some of the most fucked up stories from Greek mythology, which was awesome because there's so many of them. So are you ready, Yara? I'm ready. Number one on our list is a god named Demeter. The goddess of harvest, okay? And presides over grains and the fertility of the earth. She was also the goddess of sacred law and the cycle of life and death. So she's pretty cool. I like this. Greek mythology also had really strong women. We were badass. Thank you for appreciating it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, this is where it gets fucked up. One day, a man named Erichton. There's an S in there. Erichton. You did your best. It's okay. One of those was close, so I'm just going to edit to make it look like I got it. He was incredibly greedy and incredibly rich. He didn't pay much to mind to the gods. He didn't really give a shit. And he cut down a bunch of sacred trees in order to build another feast hall. Cause he's a fat fuck. And then Demetria was like, what did you just do? I'm gonna punish this bitch. She gave him an appetite so strong that he would eat everything. And I mean everything. <laughs> That's fucked up. Like, you know what? You fuck with me. I'm just going to make you eat everything. I'm going to turn you into a pig. I've been hungry. And it's not fun when you're eating everything and you just can't stop yourself. <laughs> and you don't know if you want to stop or if you want to finish it off with something sweet, you know? No, that's torture. He lost all of his money because he kept trading it for food. He's like, yo, he's like, how much for those box of Cheerios, bro? Yo, I'll give you my daughter, bro. He tried to sell his daughter um, because he was so damn hungry. He got so hungry, he ate everything. We're to the point where all he could eat was the flesh off of his own body. What the fuck? Yeah. That's, that's just fucked up. No, that's so fucked up. Yeah. Kind of a lecture kind of shit. Like, no. What did he do? What did he do to deserve all of this? He, he cut down some sacred trees. Wow. So she made him eat himself. Like, if someone tells you not to do something, just don't do it. Don't do sacred trees, especially. You cut you cut down my tree. I liked that tree. It was my no, favorite no, tree. Cool. Club of this show doesn't get much better when we go down the list. This is one of my favorite ones because I actually did a play on this in high school. The Tale of Kronos. He was a superpower obsessed. And, like, you ever fear, like, your child is going to, like, grow up and then, like, want to kill you. But Kronos killed Uranus to be powerful. I need to overthrow my father, Uranus. So father overthrown. From there, he, he had his own kids. He was like, oh my God, I killed my dad to become the powerful one. What if one of my kids kills me to become a powerful one? He was like, mm-mm. So he ate all of his kids, except for one. And that child's name was Zeus. Oh my God. The yeah. poor baby. But here's some good news. Zeus did grow up and he was like, ah, hell no. And he went back and he forced his father to puke up all of the God babies who didn't die. They raged on for, for a de decade in a war. Zeus ended up winning. So that was pretty cool. He's like, I'm here to avenge my eaten brothers and sisters. How long does it take to digest all these children? This is just on a whole other level. You know, don't fear not being the top dog. Again. If you want proof that the gods had a pretty nasty sense of humor, look no further. 
Tantalus was often invited to Mount Olympus with the gods, but he was not a good guest, okay? He used to steal ambrosia. Ambrosia is like this like ancient food, it helps them with longevity or mortality. This guy Tantalus would show up to these parties and steal their, their food, and then he would go and give it to his mortal friend. Yo, Bob, Stacy, wanna be immortal for life? They're like, hell yeah. Oh my god, on the black market, that would be so cool. If it's not bad enough, when he did have the gods over for dinner instead of cooking, or had even ordering from a nice restaurant, he chose to instead serve the gods meat from the body of his own son, rather than a proper feast. I mean, these shits just get weirder and weirder. It's like, Why I, are all the stories about eating their children? Because, oh, you know, going to the grocery store in this day and age is just dangerous. Man, why are you eating your children? Eat uh, your neighbor's children. Why are you eating your own children? My punishment, though, gods were like, we gotta, we gotta get this guy, because that's, that's fucked up. In the deepest parts of Tartarus, in the deepest region of the world, where the gods locked up their enemies, they put Tantalus. This is, I think, where um, your snake hair girl lives. Oh, like, really? I, mean, I don't know. I might just be full of shit. Oh, wait, is that is that where they lock them up? Like, is this the garden of... Because that, that looks pretty cool, actually. This is not that good because what happens in this place is bad. It's this really awful punishment where they have him submerged into water and then a plant over his head that grows beautiful fruits. And it's just out of reach. so close but yet so far you know and it's just like every time you go it just moves away and then the water when he gets really thirsty he goes down to like and it goes and it, it goes away so they're like we're gonna punish the shit out of this dude we're gonna torture his ass this is like real torture i am so impressed everywhere in greek mythology don't piss off the gods yeah it's, exactly you don't piss off the gods so it's like don't be rude if you're at a house party, be nice. And if you're having people over, you serve them some nice meals. She really yeah. fucks him up. I'm not gonna lie, like that's good torture. They made an example out of him. It's cool, he deserved it, it's funny. That's a little fucked up. Don't fuck with the gods, like. Don't fuck with the gods. That's it, it's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. On to our fourth and final. We've gotten the most fucked up mythology story that I could find. Uh, I think you'll agree with me. Let's just start off nice and easy. Who remembers Peter Pan? I love that story. I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. You see the real one with that yes. boy? And he was our age, I'm sure, at the time. It was like total I had a big crush on it. I'll leave my window open tonight. Exactly. Every night, left my window open for this bastard. He never came. Well, he's still pretty hot. Don't tell Jordan I said that. Yeah. I knew he would grow up hot. Very cute. Yeah. The thing about Pan is they had this other story for him. It's part human and part goat. A little bit creepy, right? Oh, no, that's creepy. That yeah, he, a little bit creepy. he was birthed from Penelope, Otis's wife. Others said that it was like a nymph. Nymph is like a forest figure. And even that some said Aphrodite. No one really knows where this pan creature was derived from but he was known for some strange things mostly for being a little bit of a slut this guy yeah, yeah pan he was very slutty he just wanted to like bang every female he saw and he also apparently liked to sometimes have some relationships with um some of his sheep yeah oh that's fucked up I mean, yeah, I mean half it's goat. the goat side of him, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's half goat. Oh, it's just the eye contact for me. We don't need to go there. It's a crazy story. One day, Pan was shooting his shot with a nymph named Srinx. She was really not down. She was like, no means nobody. And he was like, I've never heard that before. So he kept bothering her and bothering her. So she finally ran away. And then she was so desperate to get away that she came up to a creek. And I guess nymphs are like forest fairies. So she's like, I got it. I'm going to turn myself in to a reed in the creek. And then he's not going to fuck me because who could fuck a reed? Pan shows up and he was like, damn girl, I really wanted you. What am I going to do? But because he wanted her so bad, he decided to craft a flute and use the reed to tie the flute together. So forever she had to be with him, just letting him play that shitty music on the fucking Pam flute. So sad. A total raper. If someone has to seek revenge for this 
poor woman, you know, mm-hmm. just an asshole. And then he's following this poor lady and then she's trying to escape and he tortures her. That's just fucked up. I don't like that story. I'm sorry, but it's fucked up. That's why it's there. But I do find out that the great god Pan is dead. So he's the only Greek god who actually dies because don't, gods don't normally die. They can be crippled forever. They can be chopped into tiny pieces, but they don't die. You know what, buddy? If if that's how you're going to be in life, all you're going to have is a pan flute. So I guess the conclusion is Greek mythology is pretty cool. It taught people. As bad as it is that this god exists, and that was like a story they would tell and be like, that's bad. She didn't want to have sex with him, so she turned herself into reed. You, like, if you want to have sex with a woman and she doesn't want to have sex with you, just remember, she's so desperate not to bang you, she would turn into like a piece of grass. Maybe, you know, people were like, oh man, I want I want a girl to want, want to do it. I don't want to be like this guy. It taught people about how to deal with this thing called life. Well, thank you guys for joining us on another episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked, fucked up. up. This was the season finale and we'll be back with season two in the new year. This was Haley. This was Yara. Merry Christmas. Yes, happy <laughs> holidays. Prometheus. Okay, Jordan, I, I <laughs> we share with you the facts of the fucked up. That's, that's what I usually say, right? Do you think Santa was like a myth? He probably started off as a myth, but they say that he actually started in Turkey. Yeah. Saka? I thought he was Danish or something. Or like, you see, I met a Turkish man and he said that was bullshit. And he said it was he was from Turkey. My straw almost went up my nose. Uh, did, did he? Did he? Positive. 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 Obviously, Yara.